We gotta keep working. Hello! Oh god, there's poop in there! Oh, it looks awful. It is the 5th of May. We wanted to, we wanted to depart. We wanted to be on the go. And uh, here's the state of the boat. You're gonna understand pretty quickly why we're not leaving today. The problem is that we have been suffering delays after delays after delays after delays. The first one was when we launched the boat. We initially wanted to launch it in March uh, and we eventually managed to do it on the second week of April. The second set of delays were all the parts that were needed to source for the electrical refit. And then I think that the third deal was just life happening. We had a lot of work, we had a lot of uh, calls and uh, all through that, Ryan really hasn't had the opportunity to have solid days at the boat that he could work from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. This is going to be our fifth year of uh, full-time sailing. Or is it gonna be our sixth, maybe? This is going to be our sixth season of cruising. And at this point, we should have learned, but I guess that we haven't. What are you doing, Ryan? Moving again, moving again. Just moving. all we do is move. So one thing that we have learned pretty early on in our cruising career is that every preseason, when there is extensive work that needs to happen on the boat, we're better off moving out of the boat and into an apartment or house while we do the work. Uh, you have seen yesterday how the boat looks. There is no electricity, which means there is no water. The boat's an absolute pit. It's not livable, uh, which is why for the last couple of months, we were living here in this super cute little house. Man, we have loved living here. Today, the boat is not ready for us to move back on board. Uh, so we get really lucky and a friend of ours is letting us uh, live in his apartment in Eastport, which is five minutes away from where the boat is. Uh, we're really, really grateful. It's a huge stress of our shoulders. But yeah, uh, today we have to move. <laughs> I didn't realize how much shit I had. So you're going to the storage unit now? Gonna go to the storage unit, try to do a swap, and then I'll take some stuff over to the new place for the few weeks that we'll be there. And then... Do you think it's gonna be weeks? Yeah. What do you think? I was hoping we could get out of here by next week, but uh, yeah, looking at the state of the boat. Uh, at this point, we just don't want to uh, set our expectations too high. This is our dinghy, by the way. While I was setting up the camera, you missed uh, Ryan bitching about how much we've been moving. You know that I'm in my underwear. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm hiding you. Well, I can look fine, huh? Okay, we are almost done. Are we going, Barney? Are we leaving? Are you ready to go? Come here. Oh no, no, we don't have the time to play. I know you want to play, but we need to go. All right, come. So you would think that living on a sailboat, we uh, wouldn't owe a lot of things to pack and that moving would not be a pain in the ass. Uh, but it isn't true. We have three times what's in this car right now. We have winter stuff, summer stuff, boat stuff, dog stuff. We have just, we have food, we have kitchen cooking things that we brought to the house, I mean, uh, and I was really hoping that this would be the last move before moving back on board. And I can't believe that in a couple of weeks we're going to do it again. But uh, Ryan is waiting for us in Eastport where we're going to live. So uh, let's just go. I don't want to be moving. I want to go sailing. En voiture, Simone. Let's go. Woohoo! Good morning.
morning, we have moved. Yay! You know how in the act of moving, it's not really like uh, the packing and then the transporting that's the pain in the ass. It's also that period where you leave in your suitcases, in your boxes and, and everything. And like you haven't organized your stuff in the new place. And uh, now it's, uh, it looks like this. The dog toys everywhere. It's our entire boat upholstery clothes. The content of uh, Ryan's wardrobe. Oh yeah, what is this? So it's only temporary. We're hoping that we can move back on board uh, sometime next week. Ryan is uh, actually doing some good progress with the electrical refit. Uh, I'm gonna go to the boat. We're gonna finish the toilet. I know that I said that yesterday, but I needed some more parts. Uh, so I had to go to West Marine and Home Depot to get the parts. So today, today is the day that we finish. We finish the toilet. Let's go to the boat. Uh, the time pressure is super stressful, but it's been really nice to have uh, this apartment that our friend, the notorious, illustrious chef back, let us borrow. Uh, it takes off a lot of that pressure and I am so eternally grateful for it. Uh, and on top of that, it is a five minutes walk to the boat. So uh, it's really wonderful. Being walking distance from uh, things it's such a rare thing in this country. And Eastport is beautiful. It's so cute. I love it. Oh, I thought you were at the boat. Hi. Oh, hi, Vincent Kim and Harley. Oh, here. <laughs> here. Oh, hi, Harley. Aww. So in a couple of days, we have a meetup that we're organizing. It's not gonna be in this marina. It's uh, just a couple nautical miles down the road. Uh, and I would really like to have the boat ready so that we can take her there. It'd be great. <sighs> okay, so I haven't been to the boat yesterday and Ryan told me that he's making good progress. So I'm hoping that when I uh, go inside, I catch a glimpse of how ready the boat can be for the meetup. Yeah. I cleaned yesterday. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. It, Does it not look like it? It totally shows. I love the hat randomly hanging. <laughs> oh god, this is bad. There is a full bottle of rum hanging on that shelf back there. It's tempting, but also it's 9 a.m. <laughs> All right, let's mount that toilet. Okay, so today the first thing that we're gonna do is to install the toilet seat on the toilet. Then we are going to attach the toilet pipe to freshwater uh, inlet that is here. Then we are going to mount the new remote, which uh, I have placed, but I need to just uh, wire it and make it look nice. And then we're gonna have a toilet, Ryan. This is a very comfortable position. That's where I was the other night. Oh my god. Oh yeah, so an episode that you missed is that while we were moving, Ryan bought a salad at a gas station and got food poisoning and so for two days. Well, thank god it was not on this toilet. I don't know, Ryan. Oh, look at that. Oh. Something's not right. Like, that's not... No, it's not a line. But look! Something's off there. Okay, something's wrong. Ah. ah! 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 Well, hello there. Fuck. But it's still. Oh, yeah. Something's wrong. <laughs> that look better? It does look better, yeah. actually. I think it does. What do you think? Yeah, then just tighten it up. Just tighten it here. Mm -hmm. Well, hello there, toilet seat. Yes, it's nice to see you too. Look, I bet you guys open 
and then thank you isn't this great ryan yes honey how are you how happy are you right now on the scale from zero to ten i'm very happy no it's seven you're seven out of ten it's pretty happy okay okay so the problem that we are encountering right now with the toilet is that um this is the pipe that connects the discharge of the toilet to uh, the discharge pipe where the shit goes and it's really tiny because the the poop gets macerated oh it's so glamorous and this is this is the shit pipe we currently have and as you can see it's smaller this is not the right size so this problem means that we need to buy more toilet pipe smaller toilet pipe and that we're going to need to cut the existing toilet pipe which is really going to be a shit job and do some more plumbing so that's going to add a couple more days to this project i really really hoped that we would be done today but we're not going to be done today so we're going to mount the toilet we're going to connect the electrics and uh, i'll do the shit plumbing another day when um, i have gone and bought the pipe at uh, our favorite west marine But as you have probably figured out, the toilet is not the project that is making us <laughs> delayed. Uh, so Ryan, do you want to tell us about what you've been doing? The progress that you've been making? What's going on? The batteries that we had in here before were our Dakota Lithium 170 amp hour batteries. We had four of them total, three in here and one in the back. That gave us about 680 amp hours. These are 280 amp hours a piece. There's one, two, three. There's a fourth in the back, but it's not connected to this. I'll explain why in a second. Then we replaced this lead acid starter with a Dakota lithium starter, 135 amp hour. And then the bow thrusters with two uh, 135 amp hour starter batteries. Because I did that, these batteries are just slightly bigger. Not much, surprisingly, but a little bit. So I had to rejig the battery box. And one thing that I've been wanting to do for a very long time is just rewire this battery box. So this one I got ABYC certified, uh, which is something I wanted to do for a while. So with that knowledge, uh, and then all the knowledge I've had with Dakota Lithium, it was a good opportunity for me to actually take this project on and try to do it right, um, which I learned a lot from. Uh, so we did, I pretty much rejigged everything and that took a long time you know i'd been planning this all winter so what i wanted to do was add in this panel i've actually had this panel for a couple years and i haven't been able to install it uh, but there's a house switch and what's cool about this is we have a backup battery in the back abyc recommends having a backup battery in case something happens to the bms or something happens to the main battery bank you can still operate critical load so you can either switch it there move it to the backup battery it's not special about that, but what's cool is that I have this wired up so that for the starter battery, if the starter battery fails, you know, we can have it on one for the main battery, but if it fails, we can go to two and use the backup. And the reason we can do that is these are dual purpose. So they're made for house loads and starting loads. Uh, and then there's a number of few uh, circuit breakers here for different loads. Uh, but then I went in and just cleaned everything up if we need to get access to a wire to change something or to modify things it's very easy whereas before you were like having to dig through a rat's nest of cables so yeah <laughs> that's what we did so i thought it would take me maybe a week or two to do i've been working on this for like four weeks <laughs> um what i've learned is it takes a very long time to do things right to do them neat and orderly, especially if you don't have tons of experience. And just to get the parts you need also takes a while. So it's such a variety of different cable sizes and terminal ends and conduits and you know different things that uh, it just takes a lot of time. How many terminal ends do you think that you have been connecting at this point? A lot, I can't even, I mean. Like are we is, talking dozens? This is four aught wire. So it's about 120 millimeters squared. And I crimped uh, a lot of these. And these are about the biggest wires you're gonna find on a 12 volt boat. It was a lot of work. I used a hydraulic crimper, but it was still a ton of work. Uh, I was tired every day I came home. So yeah, it, and then all these little wires in here, 
Um, there's way more than you realize when you start looking at it. So um, it just takes time. And then to make it nice and neat and orderly and some, you know, a few things didn't work out and I had to order some specialty parts like these terminal ends that, that bend 45 degrees. These are the kind of specialty parts. So I had to order those and those had, I had to wait a few days for those to come in. So, so yeah, it just takes, takes time. So this is a European boat. It's in 220 volts. Uh, well, because we bought it in Europe, but because we're going to be in North America for a while, I wanted to make the boat avail available to charge on the U S system or 110 volts. Uh, and then also the ability for us to plug in some U S plug stuff. Um, so that project's about a third of the way done. I still have some wires to run, but it's just not as involved. It's just running wires is horrible on this boat. So once those are done, then we can spend a day and try to clean this up and do the other stuff we need to do. <laughs> You've done great though. It's been a significant amount of work, a lot of work. <laughs> and it still is. And it still High is. High five, good job. This gives, this, this view gives me nausea. Okay, so we bought a bit of toilet pipe that is a little bit smaller. And now um, we need to create a connection between the small toilet pipe and the big toilet pipe. And that is going to be the real shit job. So step number one, we're gonna remove the rag and try to get the shit liquid from there in this container, okay? You ready, Ryan? Are you excited about this? Mm, no. Mm. It's not really shit liquid, it's antifreeze from the winter. With shit. With some shit, yeah. Ta-da! There it is, the shit liquid. Can you help me with your hands? And, uh... Uh. Uh. Oh my god. Oh, it looks awful. Oh god, there's poop in there! The faster we do this, the less snow we've got. Oh my god! We gotta keep I moving. know! Okay, this is disgusting. Okay, uh... Fuck, do you see the, de is this deposit or is it the pipe that's like It that? just calcifies around there. Fuck, that's a lot of calcification. Now we're gonna pull that pipe. I'm gonna make a mark, maybe. Do you want to get that container back and uh, so we can empty? The shit. God. The vomit. Okay. Oh, this is the love boat, huh? Do you hear the song singing, the love boat? Oh, so great. Okay, you guys, we're gonna clean up that mess and then uh, mount the toilet and I think that will be it. Uh, we're just gonna need to connect the pump and we'll have a new toilet. It's disgusting, so disgusting. Okay, you guys, we are seeing the end of the tunnel with this toilet install. Look at how clean this base is. Discharge pipe, freshwater pipe, clean base, yay. All right, so now we're just gonna be mounting the toilet on its base, connect the two pipes, connect the electric pump, and that will be it. Bam. Make place for the Jepsco Quiet Flash. Woohoo! We believe 
we stand. You will be the best toilet that ever existed in a boat. Ugh. I just have to finish connecting the pipes and the electric and that will be it. The toilet will be operational. Ah. Yes, perfect. Okay. Trying to give it a little a less little tight. Right, and then this guy, okay, this is the important piece to film. Good job. Ta-ta! Woohoo! Okay. Oh my god! Okay, so now we just have to connect the pump yep. to the electrics. Come on. Yes. Here we go. Oh, f I only have the black one. Ta da! Yay! And that's it, you guys. We have an electric toilet. Okay, there is uh, a couple of final steps uh, to take, and that is to install the beautiful covers uh, that are going to hide this installation right here. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, that's one. There we go. And then there's a... A screw where we a don't screw. know it, it is that. Okay, guys, there is one screw that's missing. <laughs> I'm not putting it out. I'm not putting it on today. That's it. We have, done, we have done the thing. We just need to install that little screw here and then fill, fill the gap. And that will be it. We made it! How's that? Let's see. Let's try to sit on it. It's so comfortable. It's totally life-changing. It's like your knees are a little higher. It's a little nicer on the thighs. It's it's so great. I think it's perfect. Well, the good thing is if it clogs, you know all about it, so you can fix it. I know. <laughs> I will. I shall. This is such fantastic weather for our meetup. Polar Seal is not going to the meetup. It is raining and wet, and it was not operational at the time. So that's a little sad. It's hot in the car now, and I'm trying to dry my shoe out because it has a hole in it. We have a new pair of shoes. I know. I should have worn them. It's not a good situation, this, this one. Standing with a wet shoe. My sock's all wet. Oh, look, little geese. And they have the babies too. Oh wow, look at that. That's amazing. Woohoo! In uh, typical fashion, yesterday I completely forgot to uh, film much of the meetup or take photos, which I really regret because uh, we were such a bunch of uh, fun people. Thank you so much to everybody who came. It was great to see you. A big thank you to all of you who brought presents. We really did not expect that. It was so sweet. Thank you so much. So the thing that we talked about yesterday at the meetup and uh, as you probably figured out by now, looking at the state of the boat, we are considering altering our sailing plans for 2023. So we had first planned this 2023 seasons, uh, counting on us being able to leave right now uh, so that we could be uh, in the canals, in the New York State canals, uh, right when they open so that we could complete the loop between the Erie Canal and uh, Annapolis via the St. Lawrence River and arrive back in Annapolis by the boat show in the fall. Uh, it's an ambitious plan and now that we are very, very delayed, we are starting to feel the stress and the pressure of getting out there and it's, it's not it's not fun. Uh, the other thing is the last three years have been filled with stress and uh, having to navigate around circumstances like COVID, border closure, uh, immigration, and my inability to enter the United States. And uh, this year we're in this situation where we are the only ones putting pressure on ourselves. And um, seven years ago, I quit my job so that I would be uh, 
healthy stress it was not healthy on me and I don't want to do that again so we are slowly opening the door to maybe not go to Nova Scotia via the Erie Canal the Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River but maybe just hang out here a little bit in the Chesapeake Bay and then go up the East Coast to Nova Scotia where we absolutely want to go and then come back down for maybe the Newport Boat Show and the Annapolis Boat Show. Um, I don't know why we go to boat shows. We just like them. They're fun. What feels shitty is that you know, we, we know that there are a lot of people who heard that we are coming to Montreal, that we are coming to Lake Ontario, that we have friends in Lake Ontario that we really want to see. And it, it feels shitty to be disappointing people. But yesterday at the meetup, when I was talking about how maybe this is what we're going to do, someone was very nice and said, well, it doesn't really matter where you're going to go and how. It's still going to be awesome videos. And uh, that meant a lot to me. It made me feel good. So. You know, whatever plan we decide to follow this year, um, the most important is that, you know, we are true to our motto to uh, make a good life for ourselves. The St. Lawrence and the Erie Canal are still going to be there next year. Still something that I want to do, but, uh, but maybe, maybe this year it's a little too much. So that was it for this week's video. Polar Seal is still a little bit chaotic. I'm hoping that we can move back on board next week. I'm thinking about redecorating a bit, redoing a little bit of the comfort on board, uh, which I'm hoping will be the subject of next week's video. And um, well, in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day and uh, I will see you soon. Bye.